Hey guys, Astro Prime here and welcome back to Once Human where we are nice and comfortable at home uh, and we will be doing some of our um, area clearing as well as activities today so first order of business I'm gonna ignore so I, I've decided I'm gonna ignore all the level 50 for now I feel like I should take a warning um, level 50 seems to be much too high what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attempt to clear off as much of these as possible so that includes the family legacy and all that that will include um, some of these uh, last areas so we have one more area here to clear a couple of uh, towers to unlock as well as one more area here as well so we're gonna clear off these two for this mission as well as tidy up whatever side quest that we've missed out for example this one right here there's a side quest sitting here um, the, the, the detonator one so we're gonna do some of these things today and if time permits we're gonna try and hit some of these um, other new ones I may even hop by this level 5 concept of materialization I'm not sure what this is gonna be but this is gonna take us all the way back to this view so yeah it's interesting uh, but we'll do that uh, later so for now let's tag no 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 I wanted to tag this one yeah so let's uh, let's tag this one and then nearest teleporter is here so we're gonna teleport here drive over and then we I'll, I might grab this first I'll grab this first and after that we'll go in. Alright, we are here at Sunshine Farms just in time right at the... Uh, oh wow, they're level 52. And the best part is we have a, like a red warning or something. That is not... Uh, we seem to be okay though. Level 52? That is much too high. Yeah, which means that as we do our approach in, let's be exceptionally careful. Um, there is a mission here that we need to do anyway. So, how come I can't get up? Forget it. Okay, so uh, the, good news, the good news is the vouchers are not nearly as difficult as, say, the Rosetta soldiers. Uh, so, we might be okay as long as we play very careful. It is a pretty big area as well. So, there is a farm over here that is a defense mission, I think. There is the area itself which is basically very simple, so you just two weapon crates and one mythical crate straightforward. And there is of course our main um the trigger prohibition. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna work on this um main mission primarily and then hopefully along the way we pick up some of the uh stuff that we need. Alright, here we are. There is apparently four locations to place uh locations to place the bombs. The nearest one is just right here. Now it seems like um yeah we just need to go around the entire area now the interesting thing is this area here is also very very uh well okay so here's the thing if i manage to oh here comes the bombs i've been killed by that bomb before i'm oh shucks all right so there's two more over there let's place the bombs on the silos first i guess um bomb has been planted Alright, let's see if we... Oh, shucks. That's a grenade. Ah, shucks. Nice. Not the best, not the worst. Oh, God, it's a sniper. Ugh. Okay. Not risking a one-shot, man. Let's be, let's be honest here. Given this level here, the sniper's gonna one-shot me. Take it out before it picks us up. That's not working. Oh, come on. Whoa. Okay. Alright, so things got bad. Hey! Hey! Oh my god. It's unreasonably. Alright, so we're pissing off the entire camp now, which is not good. Yeah, doesn't help that we have that uh, debuff on us. Oh god. I shoot with shit, man. Yeah, our armor's all down already, which is not too surprising given the situation we're in. But let's try and see if we can fight our way through the majority of these bad boys. There's a lot of loot as well. 
Um, I will definitely need this loot because as we prepare for the final bosses and stuff, I mean, I'm gonna assume the final boss is nearby. We're already hitting the level cap of this game is level 50, so. That hit me so hard. Gosh. Okay, frankly speaking, guys, I'm even though okay, I've been using this gun for a very uh, for quite a bit already through like region uh four. Um, I still feel like our that blue gun that we're using the KM the the original uh blue gun that we're using. The shrapnel seems to trigger a lot more reliably than whatever we're doing now. Um, once again, it could be because I'm just not doing it right or not using it right, uh, which is quite likely by the way. But uh, I'm not entirely convinced about this legendary gun though. So, but of course we're not going to give up just yet. We're going to try and figure it out. Um, let's see, how do we get to that toppy bit? Because, okay, I'm going to guess this here actually. Great. Yeah, when you get to that bomb place, okay, I think this is the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Right. Oh, God, no. What did me there? Oh, this is bad, bro. Well, this is an easy way to... Like deal with him, just you know, he has bombs conveniently located right at his waist. <laughs> All right, good. So we're clear with those two now. I think using this walkway, we probably can go to the other side, where the other um bomb location is. There are bad things over there. Now can I try and assassinate this guy? We might as well try. Me, me. Yeah, that works. Good. Save me a whole clip. Yeah, my web my damage is definitely not doing that good. Uh, uh granted, I am using uh copper ammo, so I'm perfectly aware that I'm using like a. I probably should have upgraded my ammo already, but I'm a cheap skate, you know. Copper's easy to come by, so. Wait, what the hell? Very great. All right, so now we need to leave Sunshine Farm, which okay. Before we leave though, because we're already in the midst of clearing, I'm gonna search this area down just to make sure that we don't miss out anything. Alright, found our gear crate. So and, and also the mystical chest. So somewhere right in the middle here, look out for this giant tower. Um from a distance you can actually see that red glow. Um some idiot left a trap here. Uh yeah, uh be be careful on your way up. It gets as usual very dangerous. Um but I believe that is one gear chest. And then there is the mystical chest right here, which is great. So that leaves us with just one more gear crate. Uh, which, honestly speaking, this area is a little bit difficult to find. Because I really don't know where are the quote-unquote... Uh, I mean, that building looks possibly uh, where you hide a gear chest. So, But unfortunately, this area here is a little bit confusing. So we're going to need to spend a lot of time looking at, at every single building probably. Alright, here we are. Uh, okay, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Yeah. So this is the other gear crate, so I'll show you guys where it is on the map. Ooh, hello. Got us a good gun, I think. Renegade mask, cool. Um, so it's just somewhere around here, one of the buildings. Uh, be careful, as usual, this building is choked full of bad things, so yeah. Uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna clear off, uh, fight our way through so that we can continue on the mission trigger prohibition. Uh, it is actually very nearby, but okay, let's go by the outside. Oh god, there we go. Yeah, we're in a pickle. Let's just just squish this way. Oh god, no. Okay. That should clear that out. Alright, let's scooch here. Alright, what does this do? Oh, nice. Kablooey! 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 Missing a couple of explosion SFX, but... That's fine. And then we just turn around. You know, it would have been nice if we were walking away while the explosion was going on, but I guess you can't have everything in life. <laughs> what the hell is F1? I just noticed that there's an F1 now. I don't even know what that is. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh I was wondering where that, where that was coming from. Okay. Alright, great. So that's this bit done. Um, I got the comms tower already. Now, I'm pretty sure if I push 
upwards here a little bit more, there's probably going to be something here for me to unlock. Um, I realize now how the map works. Like these are grayed out area, right? Um, as you travel around, it ungrades itself, but it also uh, reviews all of this little thing. Now, we already noticed this happening, just that I didn't notice how serious it was until like we really started doing the region 4. Um, the map is a lot bigger, so you actually have to physically be near enough for them to unlock, you know, um, some of the missions and stuff. So just, yeah, I think all of that. But yeah, so we're done here. Now, I will probably travel the long way to get this um, teleportation tower. And then after that, work our way south to hit this teleportation tower and then grab this uh, research institution thing. Uh, this is going to be a pretty bad area. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get screwed over here. So, But we'll, we'll, we'll work our way there and then we'll see how it goes from there. Okay, change of plans. Let's drop off our quest first because I realized going all the way to the level 49 area sounds like a trap. Um, especially not with our gear all broken. Like, like our gear is just it is ramshackled, guys. So let's not go there first. Let's talk to old bones. So sorted, Dennis. Wonderful. I can rest easy knowing that the vouchers can't use them. Oh, and Rosetta too. Eddie is willing to help you. I imagine you must have gotten what he wanted as well. <clears throat> Here's a reward. A bit more than we agreed on, but thank you. I knew you were the right person to help. Yeah, go beans. Alright, nice. So we got this task done. Let's see if there's anything else lying around. Hmm, this is a treasure map one. Okay, so we are really almost there already. Um, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna head back to base. I'm gonna make sure we repair everything. I'm gonna see if I want to craft. I'm, I'm probably gonna craft tier 5 gear. Um, repair everything. And what we will do is, firstly, we will hit the main quest. So, where the hell do we go? Yeah, so we're gonna work on this quest first. Um, I, I'm, you know, the Datesville. Oh, you know what? Why don't we just go to the Datesville one? I'm very curious to know. I'm very bugged out by the fact that there's a quest at Datesville right now. <laughs> you know what? Change of plan. Let's do this. Concept of materialization. I don't know what this is, but we're, now that we're here, we could make a very fast teleport there. So let's hit there and see what the quest is about. I have a free uh, jump pad Munchie who is missing for the past two weeks. Very sad. It just appeared out of thin air, and it can talk. Stay back, folks. This thing can move. Hmm. Okay, so as we came here, this something happened. So let's go take uh let's eat our food first because geez, we're barely surviving. Let's drink some water. Hello. Ooh. Is that like the wish machine sound? Huh? Wait, is that it? No then I'm so confused. What's going on? You're a mayfly? Talk about good luck. This thing just appeared out of nowhere, jabbering on and on about who knows what. I'm... I'm not sure if it's dangerous. Mm-hmm. Alright, I'll go check it out. Isn't this just the wish machine? Oops. Well, well, well. We meet at last. What? You know who I am? Project. Wishes, of course. Oh. Why do you think they call me Mr. Wish? So, what is it that you crave? A powerful new weapon? Or a tasteful new gum? A new gum well, would be great. <laughs> just say the word. And, for a few Starcrum, the blueprint is ah. yours. Okay. So now, provide Starcrum for Wish Machine. Make one blueprint draw using the Wish Machine. So, ooh. oh, the new one came out already. What is this? Cage helmet. Yeah. I'm not sure, man. Now, you see, the problem is, can I... We could just get the blueprints, right? Uh, they do want us to make a draw. I might as well make it worth it. Okay, out of all of these sets, though, I've actually uh, kind of got my eyes on a couple of um, pieces that I think is great. So, the low move piece is actually pretty okay. Um, it's not bad. I might go for the Lone Wolf. There is also some another set. That, okay, this Bastille one is also not too bad. But it requires me to stay crouch. Uh, this is going to be a good set for my Sniper. Whereas this is going to be a good set for my um, Shrapnel, my 
uh, assault rifle. Now the only problem I have with this game for now is that the assault rifle seems to be slightly more useful than um, the sniper rifle, especially in boss fights. Like the sniper rifle is does okay, um, then again I could be building it all wrong. Um, but many of these other sets are going to be a little bit more reliant on like um, you know status effects and stuff. Um, this one's a bow armor which is cool. But yeah, so this Bestial one seems okay because as you can see, even it's tier 1, level 1 is like HP above 70%, you increase your weapon damage which is nice. Uh, I'm not so confident that we're gonna always be up at 100%, uh, sorry, uh, above 70%, but I do feel that having this as an offset, so like for example, maybe having just a level 1 or level 2 of it, and the remaining 4 is a Lone Wolf, because the uh, Lone Wolf level 4 seems pretty okay, and for crit rate, it's gonna work with my, um, my Assault Rifle a lot. So at this point in time, I think the Lone Wolf is going to be my main set and then the Bastille is going to be an offset. Just that because I want to keep my Beret, my Beret does good things for us. So I'm not sure how I'm going to piece together. Um, yeah, that's a problem. You know what? Okay, I'm going to sit on... Uh, just give me a while. Let me go and look through whatever I have and then we'll see because we do have to make the do this mission anyway. So we're only going to spend three... I think each of it is 3,000. We have enough Star Chrome to make one purchase. So yeah, we're going to have to figure that out. Okay guys, I've made a decision. I'm gonna make one purchase of the Bastille set first. I'm gonna go for the gloves, I think. Um, I, yeah guys, I'm not, not even kidding. I basically just went one by one. I really don't like the fact that this glove is not like... The colours are all off. I can't. So I'm gonna use the Bastille... Uh, Bastille, Bastille glove. This one is a little bit nicer in my opinion. So we're gonna buy this. So we're gonna do a one-piece Bastille uh, glove. That's gonna give us um, that weapon damage plus 10%. And then the remaining four pieces, which is not the head because the head is the beret. Um, this, two, three, and the mask is gonna be our lone wolf. So that is gonna be how we set ourselves up. I hope it's gonna be a good choice. I don't know, but I still need to spend the 3000 anyway. And in terms of like the overall value, um, having this one piece here really beats having one piece of lone wolf, which is just the magazine capacity. So we're gonna do this for now. At least, and until we have enough star chrome, then we can buy that whole set. But for now, we're gonna just buy this one, the Bastille Glove. So let's make that purchase. And that should hopefully finish. Hey, that did not finish my quest. Okay, I, I, I was able to guess that might happen. Okay, so because that didn't finish our quest. Okay, hold on, let me see. Do we actually bought it though? Oh, we, I, I, yeah, I was wondering, what did we buy it? Oh yeah, we did, we did. Okay, so I, I was worried about this. I guess we actually have to make a wish. So I'm just gonna make one wish here. Okay, so we're just gonna bonk one, and then we're just done. Yeah, let's clean this. Yeah. It's too expensive, guys. I really don't wanna. Did I finish the quest? Nice. Alright, so that's what we needed to do. That's all. See? What did I tell you? This is going to be a long yeah. and happy partnership. I can feel it. Okay. Now, go, go. Get crafting, mega. Yes, sir. Uh, I guess I can go craft it back in my territory. That's what I like to hear. As long as you bring me enough Starcrum, I can fly through Wish Space Time and bring you back <laughs> the blueprints you desire. Okay, okay. Wish Space Time. Yes, yes. There are too many wishes for just this world to hold. So they are scattered all hmm. across time and space. You are weird. For safekeeping, you see. <laughs> but I can bring them back okay, every okay. day. New wishes are born from the long-awaited, from echoes from the rift, from <laughs> everywhere. Without new hopes and dreams, how could this world keep turning? Oh, but I've said too much. I apologize. Come okay. on, then. Reach out your hand. And take me home! Okay... Wait, you mean we could have just got a free wish machine? I mean, alright... Hey, what do you mean? Oh, talk to Mayor Trent. Woohoo! Do you know that Eclipse Quartets can be purified into Star Chrome? Let's try it. Right. So... Yeah, they're gonna give us a whole bunch of new stuff, I think. Uh, let's take a peek. Inver you know, I do feel like we're supposed to have done this a long time ago. <laughs> okay, this is gonna do a... Okay, we're not gonna do this for now because uh, me and my friend definitely will be doing a base defense soon. 
So we're probably gonna clear this quest uh, while we're doing that. Right now we're gonna head back home because uh, we are badly in need of armor, repairs and stuff. So I'm gonna go back and do a bit of prep and then we'll see you. Um, we'll probably do the main quest next. Alright, we are here guys, working our way to... Oh god, oh god. This is a bad place to be in. Oh wow, this is a terrible place to be in. Yeah, these heavy boys. There we go. God dang. Eh! Eh! Upset. Very nice. Okay, uh, so we're here now, back here where we were. Um, the last time we were here, we didn't want to go in because we didn't know how long that part of the quest is going to take. The um hopefully this time we are okay. Now I, I made a mistake. By the time I reached here, it was way too late. I realized I don't have enough. I don't think I will have enough ammo. So that's a bad thing. Oh, that wasn't the way in. Shit. Okay. Um, we're gonna go in and where we last left off in a like, couple episodes back, where we first came here. So we are gonna go in there finally and see what is inside. All right. So we finally fought our way back here. Now. Infiltrate the Rosetta Research Lab. Now before we um, dive into what I'm sure will be my grave, let me show you guys the gear that we're using. So um, I've made all tier 5 web, uh, gear right now. So we're running the beret which is still going to help our um, shrapnel hit part as well as also the Bastille Glove that I mentioned and I just unlocked. The remaining gear I've changed to the Falcon. So interestingly enough, I never noticed um, that this Falcon gear was actually... First of all, it's nice, it's nice and green. That's always great. Um, in terms of the stats though, it's all stamina related. Now, it doesn't seem to be as useful as I would like it to be. Um, but I'm actually very intrigued by the fact that because we do get uh, crit rate, and crit damage as long as our stamina remains over 90%. Now given our gameplay, our stamina tends to be above 90%. So uh, we get a lot of crit damage out of it. We got we get some crit rate out of it. And we always ensure that we always have stamina as well. So I don't know. Again, I, I just made this on a whim. I don't think it's the best set. But for now, in terms of gear wise, um, I felt this was okay. We'll give it a try anyway. I definitely can feel a slight reduction in damage compared to when I was using the agent. So I may switch this back if we have enough resources. Um, there we go. See, so we are teleporting into bad places. <laughs> I mean, we knew this was gonna happen. So, oh, oh hello. Are we now experiencing what happened to Ted here, Dennis. Damn it, Dennis. Where the hell are you? Okay, so we are... We're Dennis now. Whoa! Uh... You alright? There's something here! It's coming after me! Dennis, if you can hear me, just take the supplies and get out of here! Now! Oh boy. Oh god! Wow. That... That was cheap. That was cheap. Like guys, I knew something was up. Like I should have just killed it. I knew something was up. Distortion in reality. Oh my god. Are we now experiencing what happened to Ted here? Dennis! Damn it, Tess! Where the hell are you? Oh come on! There's something here! It's coming after me! Dennis, if you can hear me, just take the supplies and get out of here! Now! Oh my god, it chases after you! No! 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 No, 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 no. No. No, please. Have we got the access card now? Oh, fuck. No, screw you. No, screw off, bros. Screw off. No! No! Oh, screw off! Oh, this is such a terrifying experience. No way. No way. Okay, so the thing is, I don't know I don't know what triggers their, like, movement. Whether is it our screen looking at them or must we physically look at them. Um, I, I know for a fact that I'm just gonna run for it. Dennis! Oh, There's something boy. here. It's coming after me. I hate you. Damn it, Dennis. Where the hell are you? Dennis, 
If you can hear me, just take the supplies and get out of here now. Right, let's grab this. Nope. Fuck you. Oh my god. Oh my nope. Screw you. Oh boy. Which way? Where is that place? Nope. Fuck you. Oh! No! We were butt effed! Oh, come on! Oh! This is so bad! I, I have been avoiding. I mean, we all know where this, what this is based off. Uh, the Weeping Angels kind of thing. Um, I have been avoiding Stop horror games like this. I know I hate it. Honestly now, speaking, once human has put me here. through every single yes, horror trope that I've actively avoided. Backroom shit. Um this crap. Oh boy. You hear me. Just take the supplies and get out of here. I hate now. life, man. Nah, no, screw. Nah, no, screw off. Nah. No, screw off. Nah. -uh. Wait, where are we? Oh, we're here now. We've opened already. Oh, nah, -uh. nah, -uh. oh, we gotta negotiate him out. Nah, -uh. oh, screw. <laughs> Screw this, man. Oh, that was horrifying. Oh what is Dennis? I finally found you. Dennis, wake up. What happened? You got me. All I know is we gotta get out of here now. Oh, boy. I don't think that'll hold much longer. There's gotta be some other way out. Oh, boy. Oh, are we going up the vents? That works. Let's get out of here. Take those supplies and go. Oh shit! Ted Holt sacrificed himself, didn't he? Oh no! Oh no! It's too late. Just take the supplies and go. Uh oh. Help track with Blackfell. It's okay. I'm counting on both of you. No! Ted! Oof. Damn. There's a bad end right there. Okay, pretty bad. That was scary though, Jesus. I hate that. I hated that so much. <laughs> I hated that so much. Ah, oh, this game is so good. Oh, hello. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, no, that's fair. Oh, great. Now we have to fight our way out. Joy. Oh joy. Okay, but we, we can leave now already. So okay, we just we have to leave like leave leave. Uh, okay, we're gonna fight our way out now. Uh so let's go. Alright, so we made our daring escape. <laughs> oh great. Oh, I knew it. Uh. What they just want us to leave though? I oh hello. Oh my god, you actually did it. You made it out. Did you get the supplies? Yeah. I got the supplies. And Ted? He told me to help you take the black We should go back. There's a lot of work to do. Good job. Yes. We should be able to activate the Rift Anchors and enter the monolith now. Alright. Okay, so that is this done. Wait, interestingly enough, defeat the Forsaken Giant unlocked at Seasonal Stage 4. So it's not something that we can defeat now, which is... Odd. So does this wait? That kind of leaves us a bit stuck, are we? Well, I guess we have this and this. 
Okay, so we why don't we go and do this? Okay, let's head back to town first. Uh, Blackfell. And then we can try and see... Well, I'll, we'll talk to Mayor um, Trent and then we'll see what happens from here. Alright, let's talk to Mayor Trent. <coughs> Sorry for the cough. You came just in time. The situation is evolving uh -huh. rapidly and not in a good way. Uh, for me on the details. The Whitecliff Research Lab has started operating again. Uh oh. We're sure it's Mary, from what I've learned. She's planning on taking a dose of her own medicine, so to speak. That woman is determined to evolve herself oh into boy. something way more powerful and way more dangerous than we've witnessed so far. She may call it evolution, but I believe she could very well trigger oh, another no. starfall. Total doom for humanity. Right, it is a... Okay, well, I mean, yes, yes. Yes, indeed it is. I've located her current whereabouts with some help from my friends inside Rosetta. Cool. Seems she's about to take her experimentation to a very dangerous level. Why is she doing this? Beyond gaining unimaginable power, she wants the human race to evolve to a point where it can compete with, even transcend, the great ones that devastated our world. Mm. Mary has seen the darker side of Rosetta's experimentation firsthand, and yet it only seems to strengthen her resolve. Okay, what's the plan? It's imperative that you go to the Whitecliff Research Lab and stop her before it's too late. But just okay. so you know, it's under heavy Ugh, guard great. by Rosetta Security. Well, we are decked out though, slightly. According to my sources, Mary took a trip to a place called Sunshine Hey, Farmers, we're going back there. One of the old Mayfly strongholds. Mary wouldn't have gone there without a solid reason. But the okay. place is overrun with vultures now. Be ready for ah, a confrontation. That one's not too hot. Godspeed, Mayfly. Only you can stop this now. I think we're fine. All right, so we got an, okay. Sunshine Farm. Ooh, I think I remember this place. I sense that this is where our lives first became intertwined with Mary's. Huh. Let's go and see what secrets Mary left behind. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so we have a bit of a kind of like full circle kind of thing. Now, interestingly enough, now that we have our gear all in check, I'm presuming all this level 50 stuff we probably can... I'm going to hit some of these dungeons with my friend instead, similarly to a previous episode where we hit some of these dungeons uh, together. I won't do it alone. Um, however, some of this story stuff we can actually do first. I'm going to speak to Lo first because I do suspect uh, he might have new things again. Uh, he's level 50 though, but I think, I guess we should be okay. Oh, hello. Oh, another cat. Honestly speaking, we, these cats are so common, yet they are relatively useless. I don't know. I don't, uh, uh, ah. They trolling. Okay. As luck would have it. Hence my gacha luck. Talk. Ah, there you are. Heard what happened to you in Chalk Peak. Wait, what happened to me in Chalk Peak? Nasty bit of business, that. But I have some news might cheer you up. Where did you hear about what happened at Chalk Peak? It's like this. I need to know things in order to conduct my research effectively. Okay. To do that, I make friends. Not unlike I have with you. There's Billy and Barry and Bruce, Vivian, Veronica, Vera, Kareem and huh. Kara. Well, you I feel like he's just rattling off names. Plenty of contacts, keeping me apprised of things. And before you ask... No, there we go. Those aren't their <laughs> real names. My contact, Dickie, Dickie, says Rosetta's been conducting some sort of field test oh. associated with this meta-deviant program. Right here in okay. Red Sand. I figured you'd want to meet up with him. So I arranged a face-to-face. -face. Oh, cool. What's the research the ultimate goal? That's the million-dollar question right there. What indeed? How about turning meta-humans into meta deviants. Oh my really gosh. quite industrious. Why let nature have all the fun? Double edged sword, that proposition. Like a box of chocolates. Never know what you're going to get until it's too mm. late. Heck of a gamble to take, if you ask me. What is Mary Betray against you? me? Oh, yes. Well, I imagine she ultimately saw you as a threat. Wanted to keep you close until she was sure she had a way to eliminate you. Yeah, fair After enough. that, it was just a matter of earning your trust until she could lay her trap. Besides making you look foolish, not too much. Unless, of course, you count trying to change the course of human evolution. Hmm. How do you stop her? Ah, yes, I see where you're going there. Thing is... I'm huh. happy to just watch and enjoy the spectacle, to be honest. Hmm. But tell you what. 
in the spirit of cooperation, I'll share what I know. Okay. So he's being unhelpful. He wants us to go over to this side here. Okay, so the quest seems to still be around within this area. So our main quest is making progress, but it was still in this uh, red sand area. So that's not too bad. Now, um, given that we have collected two more new quests, I'm not going to complete them now because uh, time's not on our side. We're going to end the episode right here. Um, next episode, we will we'll probably just... Actually, you know what? She's only out here. We let's just hit this uh, Let's just hit this one first, and then hopefully it doesn't bring us too far out. Alright, here we are at the ruins of Spike. Search for Lowe's Inferno. Hopefully we can get to the bottom of it. Hmm. Okay. So we need oh god. So we need to find his informant, which is not that far according to the map. Check this area out, I guess. Hello. Oh there is. Hello. Are you being helpful? JK oh My god, you have a name. You must be the Mayfly Mr. Lowe told me about. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you're here. I need your help. Alright. What happened? That here? is what happened. There were troops all over the place and cameras recording all of it. And there was this woman. She was running things, there telling people Mary. what to do, where to go. A man. No, a thing who was once a man, but had been transformed hmm. into a monster. This thing would close its eyes and lift its chin, almost as if it were praying. And it would send out a kind of shockwave. Ooh. It destroyed the building in front of it one yeah. after the other building after building it was like nothing i've ever seen yeah okay Two what locals kind of trouble that you live think? in this area rosetta took them, oh boy a mother and daughter they're being held at rosetta's lea research laboratory -E not research too far from here cool oh, the girl was exposed them? to a large dose of stardust while out scavenging we feared the worst, but after a few days, she didn't show any ill effects. Rosetta must have found out. The Dr. man, Manheim. the Dr. Mannheim, I believe, Heim, sorry. was there when they took Eve and Kelly away. Okay. What Mr. Can I do? Lowe said you'd be able to get them out of there safely. Yes. I'm pretty sure they intend to run experiments on them. Okay. That's no good. Alright, so we've picked up the quest here, so that's nice. What we will do now is, I think now would be a great time to end the episode because I just realized we could possibly climb up here, could we? Oh, we could! I'm sorry, now I have to know. Mm. Oh, that's very cool. The fact that this is a thing. <laughs> oh, hello. Wait, now, now, yeah, yeah, no, now I have to know. Oh, this is upsetting. Ah, well, this sad. Alright, so but anyway, now, now, I think we can just perch ourselves here like a bird and end the episode right here. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and I will see you guys next time.